are a great idea for Key Stage 1 students because um, they're very simple and yet the end results are incredibly effective. We're going to be making a peacock mask, I've been calling it, but it's actually really a headdress. It goes round your head like this and sits on top, yeah? I find the best way to introduce this session is by preparing a large like A1 um, resource sheet full of, of pictures that the kids can chat about. What colours do we see here? Black, blue, brown and a little bit of um, yellow and blonde. And a beautiful, like that's a lovely sort of turquoise blue, isn't it? I'll get them to look at the pattern on the feathers. I'll get them to talk about the shape of the eyes, the nostrils. Does anybody know um, why the, it's actually the, the boy peacock that puts up his feathers like this? Does anybody know why he does that? Because he wants to look handsome. He wants to look handsome and why does he want When showing a large group how to get started, it's important to assemble them first um, around a table and give them a really thorough, detailed demonstration. Each of you are going to be getting one of these, right? This is the mask template and there's a version of this on the website which you can download. To help support the children um, throughout their drawing activity, I'm going to give them a drawing of the, of the mask with all the features and the pattern. I would start with the eyes. So you see this line kind of separates the, the middle of the beak. And then I'm going to do one eye here. And I'm going to colour in the circle. Even a white dog. I'm leaving a little white dot. I always do that in eyes because it kind of gives it a little bit of life. What I do want to show you though is how easily then it becomes three dimensional. Good. That folds round and that bottom bit of the beak goes in there. That's stapled and it becomes a three dimensional shape. They have to draw on a certain side because I have pre um, scored folds into the card. Hey, don't turn your masks over. If they turn the mask around, then the folds aren't going to work so well. So they have to just draw and paint on that particular side. So when I hand it out, I say, keep it there, keep it flat. I think it's good to initially give them some sort of structured approach and then they can take your advice on board, go back to the tables and sort of work into it in their own creative way. It's really lovely how you've got lots of varying sizes, you know, yeah. from ginormous to little titchy witchy. Yeah. Isn't that right? Can I have your attention for one second? You've got about three or four minutes left to finish your drawing. At this point, I will gather them round the same table and uh, perform the second demonstration on how to apply the colours. We have got a very simple set of colours here, okay? Whereas if I gave you like 25 colours to use, I just know there'd be madness, you'd want to use every colour. When the children go back to their tables to begin their work, they will have um, a, a palette between two or three roughly, and in each palette there'll be a little blob of uh, orange, yellow, uh, two kinds of blue, turquoise and a dark blue, and then a green, and they will start the activity. Some of the colours they apply are just directly out of the pot, but then they also have the opportunity to mix one or two colours. It's about teaching them how to apply paint in a controlled way. I'll encourage them to apply the paint quite thinly so that it's quicker to dry. Well done, you guys. You've done really, really well. Are you proud of yourselves? Are you yeah. pleased with what you've yeah. done? The final stage of the process is assembling the mask, and I think it's easier if the teacher does this on their own. And you staple it together so it's Good. firmly in place and then, yeah. then if that was a local tool, and you just tie it in a double knot and then it is ready it's like a little bonnet wow. isn't it dylan would you like to come up and try it on yeah, you can use uh, the finished masks in other lessons uh, for the purpose of maybe a little bit of drama. The kids can um, then conduct role plays with their masks or perhaps a school parade. Mm -hmm.